Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you again for another album review, and this is the fourth album review out of the nine albums I got to review for this upcoming Friday. Uh, this is for Fozzie's new album, Boombox, that I just got done listening to uh, just a moment ago. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this new Fozzie album, Boombox, uh, that I'm returning to you guys for, I guess early this evening, I guess you could say, and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this album review. Um, now, I really enjoyed majority of the singles. They were very, very strong singles, in my opinion, um, including the first song, which is Sane. I know there's electronic work at the beginning of the song, but in my personal opinion, I think it works with what the song is going for. Um, this album kind of does rely on some electronic synths at times, and some of the time at least. Uh, but Sane was a really good track. It was a banger. It was a banger, I meant to say. So I really enjoyed it. Saw the music video when it uh, came out and reviewed the song the same day so i really had a good time listening to that song it's definitely a roller coaster ride to get through so sane is getting a five out of five it was a banger and yeah next song is i still burn and that was a pretty awesome song in my opinion there is electronic sense with the guitar and drum work in the song at the opening part of the song with where Chris Jericho's screaming, I still burn, thing or whatever. <laughs> At that part, you hear this electronic synths with the guitar and drum work mashed in together with it. But still, I think it works to an extent, in my opinion, but I know some other people may have their criticisms about it, but the album... Uh, has its bumpy points too. Um, it's kind of slip ups, and there's a song in particular I'm gonna mention that has a bit of a slip up. Uh, Purifier is a pretty awesome song. I did enjoy it for what it went for, so five out of five. Even though I wasn't sure what I was gonna think of the song, I still enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, so five out of five. Uh, it. It was a banger. Um, Army of One is the next song. And that's a more melodic song. And sorry about that motorbike going by. It's messing with the video a bit sometime. Uh, so please forgive me on hear you hearing that. But basically, um, Army of One was a melodic track. Uh, didn't hate that song too much. I wasn't sure how I was feeling about it. At first, but as I kept listening, I was like, okay, this is pretty nice. So, I guess it's about fighting a war or something. I guess they might make a music video for it. Probably during the... I don't know if they'll have an idea for the music video, but we'll just wait and see. But f 5 out of 5 for Army of One. Ugly on the Inside is a solid track. I wasn't sure how I was feeling about it because there's some chanty choir singing in the background of Chris Jericho singing U-G-L-Y something something and or whatever. And then you get to the sixth track on the album, which is Relax, the Frankie Goes to Hollywood cover. That song is a mess. Honestly, I was not feeling for it too much. I think it structurally it was not very good. It was ruining how the albums was playing out and I was like, why did they have to add this as a song to cover? It wasn't a good cover in my opinion. But hey, they're going to have hits and misses, so this one was a complete miss. So 2.5 out of 5 for this one. I didn't I didn't like this one. Um, Relax, Frankie Goes to Hollywood cover was not very good. Nowhere to Run was the first single, actually, we got 
for this whole album back in 2019. So at least they added this to the album, and it brought the album back up to a better standard, so 5 out of 5. My Great Wall was a great song, in my opinion. I love the way Chris Jericho's singing the song. It sounds pretty good. There's some catchy drum work, catchy chorus. Um, guitar work is pretty much shredding this song, and I really like it. Then comes What Hell Is Like, and there's this moment in the song where Chris Jericho is flowing, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's a, I guess, a breakdown moment when he's flowing and kind of singing with his singing stuff or whatever. I don't know for sure what he's doing at that part, but it actually sounds pretty good. So, wasn't disappointed. Five out of five. Omen was a pretty outstanding song. I really enjoyed it. Um, so, five out of five. I don't know if I have much more to say on it. Chris Jericho's vocals is pretty strong in this song. And I like the way it's executing, too, with the production and the mixing. Then comes The Worst Is Yet To Come, and that was a pretty strong song. I like Chris Jericho's chorus, the chorus part where Chris Jericho's shining through the chorus, meaning he's singing very well in it. But, yeah, uh, that high pitch note he does at the beginning of the chorus is pretty good. So, 5 out of 5. And finally, The Vulture Club. Not my personal favorite song, but it's solid, at least, in my opinion. Um, and if you're gonna, you're gonna hear a motorbike drive, driving by in my neighborhood, they do that sometimes in my neighborhood. But still, The Vulture Club was a solid track. It's not a personal favorite of mine. And sorry if I'm getting sidetracked and you hearing that for a moment. It just, I don't know if it's affecting the video or not, but yeah. Overall, production, mixing, and execution. I think Fozzy Boombox has its slight hiccups, meaning the relax Frankie Goes to Hollywood cover was the one that really ruined the album a bit. But everything else about the album is pretty average. It's not a horrible album, it's just... I was hoping this would have been a good album, but I was a little let down, and my expectations were a bit too high for this album to succeed, but hey, hopefully their next album, they'll try to make better songs. Uh, they did pretty good with most of the tracks, but it was just the Relax cover song that they did that really ruined it and brought the rating down, in my opinion. So overall, I think uh, Fozzy Boombox is an average album. I guess you could give it a shot and see what you think of it. Because uh, maybe you guys might like it. So first score for me, I'm giving Fozzy Boombox a 7.5 out of 10. This was average. It's going to be on my decent to good albums of 2022. So it made it on that list. So it's not a terrible album anyway. It's the same as Three Days Grace's album. It's not terrible either. So they're both pretty strong albums. Just have some production problems with how. Or maybe some songs that aren't very well structured. And executed very well with the delivery of how the song is playing out of course. And the only downside to this album was just the relax cover that they did, and that was not a good song, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself and saying why I didn't like that song, I just didn't like how it was sounding, and that was a big problem to this record, um, but anyways, comment below, let me know what you guys thought of the Fozzy Boombox album, if you've heard it, and if you enjoyed this album review, like I said, I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10, it's an average listen, it's not too bad, so, you're in for a pretty solid listen, I guess you could say. Comment below and let me know what you guys thought of this album review if you enjoyed it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I think the next album review is going to be Ibaraki's uh, Rashomon, um, Matt, Matt Heafy's band, or Matthew 
Heafy's band or whatever from Trivium. His band just dropped an album or is about to drop an album in like six hours from now for me recording this video. So I'm going to be listening to that. It's like an hour and a minute long. So it's pretty long of an album, but I'll see what I think of it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this album review for Fozzie Boombox. Keep in mind, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. If you heard some background noise in the video, it was some guys in my neighborhood riding their motorbikes around the neighborhood. They do that most of the time. Just wanted to keep you guys informed on that. But stay safe. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed this album review for Fozzie Boombox. And as always, I will see you in my next review.